Right. So I'm with uh, John Gillam, who's Chief Executive of Bunnings. Um, we're just uh, covering some uh, developments in the uh, DIY world. John, if you look at where you are now and where you think Bunnings needs to get to in the next five years, what do you see are the opportunities and challenges that you face on that journey? Well, we're in a, a wonderful position at the moment. Um, our business in Australia and New Zealand has the chance to continue to evolve and meet more and more customer needs and continue to deliver on the high performance standards that it's achieved and uh, not rest on its laurels but yep. get even more excited okay. about setting new standards. So lots to do there, lots of runway and that's an exciting challenge for Mike Schneider and the team. In the UK, well, it's very early days. We're three months and a week or so into owning home base. But in five years' time, we'd love to have a Bunnings business mm -hmm. fully across the UK and Ireland with the best of British and the best of Bunnings combined to bring bringing to life the exciting elements that we want to bring for home improvement and garden into the, the UK. So, yeah, in five years, we've got some very clear uh, we want to be here sort yeah, of thoughts. Which is great. And when you look at the, the challenges facing the sector as a whole in terms of moving forward, meeting the needs of customers, potential disruption, what are your perspectives on what the sector as a whole needs to do to meet the needs of the market as you see it? Oh, um, it's very hard to think about a whole sector. I'll think about it from Bunnings' point of view. Mm -hmm. there, there are a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. and there are some things that will continue to challenge. Uh, I spoke earlier today that, that our thought is a very clear one. Someone will find a way to sell what you're selling cheaper. Yeah. So you need to find a way to operate your business mm -hmm. with more productivity yep. and more engagement mm -hmm. before that happens to you. Uh, the opportunities are massive. There are really significant opportunities that play into the way people are living and using their homes and the way that gardens and lifestyles continue to evolve. Mega trends around ageing population, uh, information and intelligence in every product and around the home and in the garden. There are several other yeah. big mega trends that are all very favourable for our sector. So continuing to have strong innovation in mm -hmm. your service and services and the ethos of your business and a strong eye on productivity so you can have business model primacy. They're, they're all very important things mm -hmm. for a successful business to continue positioning itself for more. So given that journey that you want to go on, what are the, what are the key things that leaders have to do within the organisation to enable that to happen in the real world? Well, um, again, I spoke earlier today about the thoughts that we have around leadership, and, and that really is you, you need to be doing things that create real value mm -hmm. and a real sense of purpose and relevance for customers. Mm -hmm. So you're doing leading for customers, leading for your team so mm -hmm. that your team are engaged and committed and focused on mm -hmm. what your business is and where it's going right. and they're contributing to it yep. and contributing to caring for customers. Um, I think communities need to benefit from a business mm -hmm. being part of it. So thinking about yeah. leading for communities and, and in thinking about what I just talk, talked about with all the innovation opportunities around products and mm -hmm. services and the evolution of uh, all sorts of these mega trends. Well, you need to be finding ways to partner even stronger with yeah. the world's best suppliers and the emerging new ideas so uh -huh. that you've got strong leadership around product right. and strong leadership around who you're engaging with. Excellent. Brilliant. That's great. Thanks Pleasure. very much, John. Pleasure.